Okay. But then, okay. okay, so like, how did we switch? I'm no. so confused. No, now well, we are in the well, workshop. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Dizzy. Dilani, now we are, are in the workshop. In the workshop you're leading now, okay? And and are, are you used to Zoom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know how to use Zoom, but I'm but not. This, 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 one is, this one is kind of a room, a private room for the workshop. And what I forgot is that all the workshop were led at the same time. So yours and Tunji's one were both parallels, actually. It was not one, yours and then and then his. This is what I forgot. <clears throat> okay. So uh, and and for Tunji not to 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 I mean to feel alone and to find himself alone, we invite him to join us at your workshop. But where is Tunji? Where is Tunji? So I'm I'm calling Tunji back to us now. <laughs> Tunji is where? <laughs> oh, Tunji has some problem with uh, the connection. He's he is just uh, connecting for over five minutes. I have tried few and I am trying again. Uh oh, okay. Angel, welcome. He has some. Is Tunji here with us? No, no, no. He's not. Nope, nope. Okay. I'll go back to Tunji now. Okay, so all the people that were in the other main room left to go to which workshop then? Because I thought it was only me and Tunji, but if Tunji's workshop hasn't started because he's not here, then where are all the, the other people? The others the yeah. others are in some francophone network. Ah, okay. They chose, they chose to be with the francophone, in the, to, they chose to attend the francophone network actually. Okay. So I mean I think they are not they are not I mean they may be shy or they're not ready to go global I don't know but Tunji, oh welcome. Tunji here you are wonderful oh it was a little bit tough huh yeah Zoom was just messing up <laughs> oh anyway we're glad to have you with us thank you great your voice really your voice really is like um Pastor Ashimolo's Ashimolo's voice Pastor Matthew oh wow okay. That's yes. a, when I hear your voice, it's just like I'm hearing for so much. <laughs> okay. Um, we have few English speaking people attending the workshop. So we we don't want you to need to be alone in yours. Please, we we want us to be together. And we know we chose the great part of it. So um Maureen, we welcome Maureen, Angel, and Tunji, who actually will be um will be on the stage. Um, Maureen, please, I'll let you, oh, how many How many minutes do we have? Let me let me just check the program again, because I- It says 50 minutes, but yeah. I will try to be more concise because first of all, we're not as many as I expected, so it will make things easier. So I'll try to be more concise so then Angel can speak and Tunji can speak as well. I don't Great. want to monopolize the whole thing since like it was a little bit of a misunderstanding in the schedule, but that's okay. All right. Thank you very much. So I'm going to start. Um, we'll try to share my screen. Oh, actually, just, just to comfort you guys, please. Yes, now we are only this little group in the workshop, but the workshop is recorded. Yeah. And they are replaced and it will be streamed and displayed on all the channels as well. And social selling has a good and great and huge audience. So keep it in mind. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your precision. <laughs> Thank Keep you. it in mind. Okay, guys. Um, wait. Ah, oh, I have to come back. No. I'm gonna try to share my screen. Delphine, where are you? In Israel, near Tel Aviv, in no. Batyam. Outside or inside? Outside or inside? I don't understand. 
You are outside, uh, outdoor, please. Uh, outdoor. No, no, in my, I, 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 am, I am in my house. Okay, okay. It's the reason it's difficult with the window because it's a, uh, it's uh, the. I, I hope. Sunset, uh, sunset. I hope to see behind, behind for uh, for you, uh, uh, Rivière du Jourdain. No, 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 no. <laughs> Desiree, please stop yes, talking now. You have, to, you have to go on, Desiree. We are, we are recorded. Come on, Rivière du Jourdain, Jordan River. It's okay. It's okay. It's you, can, you can. You can. Negro you can. spiritual guy. Negro spiritual guy. It's okay. Everybody wait, Maureen. No, no, no. Wait. You can actually talk for like two minutes. I have to restart Zoom because I changed my computer and then it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't okay. Who wants to sing? <laughs> Desiree, let's sing. River Jordan. River Jordan. Ali, can you invite me back in the room when I come back, please? Thank you very much. Ah, you want me to invite you back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I have to leave Zoom right now. Otherwise, oh. it doesn't let me share my screen. So, no. Why? Okay. Okay, with you. <laughs> But uh, Angel is New York. Where are you? New York? I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Wow. Oh, Brooklyn! Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my that's... dream... That's San, that's San Francisco Bridge, though, because yeah, I was yeah. trying to find <laughs> yes. that's not San Francisco <laughs> Bridge. Tundi, where are you? Tundi is London. 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 Yes. London. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have Europe. You have, we have Europe, Israel. Yeah, Middle States. East. Yeah. New York. Okay. And, and I don't and know where, where is Kyoto? Kyoto oh, is I'm Kyoto? living in France, close to oh, Paris. Okay. Ah, okay. What's the Paris? Yes. I come from Paris. Beautiful <laughs> city called yeah. uh, Saint Germain en Laye. Yeah. Oh. I know. <laughs> Wonderful. It's a beautiful place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. I was born in Paris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Sorry much. about that. Sorry about that. Let me. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I changed my computer a couple of weeks ago, and it's my first time using Zoom since I have this new computer. So, oh, okay. yes. So, can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Now I'm quiet. Very okay. nice. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, so, basically... Before we start, um, I want to create a dynamic conversation. So I would love for you guys to interact in the chat to make it easier and shorter because I know we're short on time. So I'm just going to ask a couple of questions and then you can uh, put your replies in the chat. Uh, I hope you're going to stay with me. <laughs> so first of all, um, tell me if you are on social media to promote your business. Are you currently promoting your business on social media? You can type one in the chat if you are. Yeah. Okay, everybody is. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically, um, I want to talk about the use of content marketing strategy, which is a great way to attract new customer without paying a dime. As you know, um, content marketing has become but becoming more and more powerful in this era of age. And I will tell you why in a couple of minutes. Um, so just to give you a little bit of the agenda, I will introduce a little bit of the topic. What is content strategy? I will emphasize in the importance of setting goals an objective before you even start your content marketing strategy. Also, how to have a clear understanding of your audience, how to develop your brand voice. We talked a little bit this morning. I think it was Muriel who talked about the personal branding this morning. Yeah. We're going yeah. to talk a little bit about that as well. Um, the importance to create engaging content to interact with your follower base how to optimize content uh, for search engines such as Google, et cetera, to be able to have a higher rank uh, when people try to find you, to find your business, how to measure the impact of your content marketing strategy. And then at the end, I will give you a little bit of bonuses that are personally my go-to in order to have a good content marketing strategy. So to introduce you, as I said earlier, content marketing has been a very, very 
uh, important things in the digital marketing eras. It's a free method to acquire a new customer, especially if you are uh, launching your new business, if you are an entrepreneur, and if you don't have a lot of money to invest in other digital marketing channels, such as Facebook ads, for instance, or Google ads or whatever. So if you don't have the money to invest in promoting your business, content marketing is a great way to go. It's also going to allow you to stand out uh, from the competition and to create and share your own voice, especially if you are in an industry that is really, really competitive. You want to find this thing that will um, makes you unique and you want to share that to the world. Um, also content marketing, because of the studies, because of the way it's super interactive right now, will also allow you to understand your potential customers' needs and deliver them a message that will allow them to engage with your business, to engage with your brand. And last but not least, that's also a great way to build relationships and converting prospects into clients. Now, basically, what is content strategy? So in digital marketing, we talked a little bit about inbound marketing and outbound marketing. If you're familiar with this term, term let me know in the chat. Uh, type one if you know what inbound marketing is. Yes. Okay, two person, that's fine. <laughs> so basically inbound marketing is a way to attract customers to you through your content through what you are going to post and to share on your social media, on your website if you have a blog, on your YouTube channel if you have one by sharing educational videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So instead of going to the customers, send them email newsletters or doing cold callings or every other technique where you will have to do outreach, then it's the contrary, is the value that you will going to share that will allow potential customers to go to you and to buy your, your product. Um, so it's really important that what you will share is useful and valuable. You have to, to, um, to put those two things into perspective. It will also allow you to establish your expertise, promote brand awareness, and keep your business top of mind. Because guess what? Once you post educational content, useful content, entertaining content, people will remember you. It doesn't matter when you post. Let's say you post two weeks ago, something that is very useful for your potential customers. This customer will remember you and say, oh, Maureen posted about that. So let me reach out to her because she can help me with my business. So that will be the content marketing strategy will be a great way for you to attract customers and to make them me mesmerize you and your brand. Uh, also, it's really important to emphasize that a good content marketing strategy must have three core elements, three core components, the brand focus, the user experience, what do your follower, what do the user are going to do in order to read your content and the way you are going to distribute it, how many platforms, uh, what type of format, um, et cetera, et cetera. So those three elements will make your content strategy successful or not. Now, before you want to start with your content strategy, you want to make sure to set goals and objectives. Let me move that here so then you can see clearly. You want to set goals and objectives. The first, I mean, if you don't do that, it will be a waste of your time. It will be very, very difficult for you to be consistent if you don't have clear goals and objectives in mind. Um, what, would you, what would you expect if you don't know the goals? So first of all, you have to think about what do you want to achieve? Do you want a lot of followers? Do you want a lot of traffic on your website? Do you want a lot of people who will sign up for receiving your newsletters, for instance? Or do you want people that are actually going to pay 
for your product. What do you want to achieve? That's the first step. The second one is what objectives you need to meet in order to achieve those goals. And the third step is how to implement your action plan. What are the steps that you are going to do? Are you going to create a content calendar strategy to know exactly when are you going to post, which platform are you going to use, what format are you going to implement, et cetera, et cetera. Everything must be clear upfront in order for it to be smoothly. Because if you do it, if you don't do it with a clear plan in mind, and when I say in mind, I'm also um, insisting on the fact that it's important to write things down because otherwise you will be all over the place and you will just exhaust your energy. And that's not what we want to do. So I asked earlier if you were on social media to promote your business, you all said yes, that's great. Now, um, I know for some of you, but not all of you, I would like to know which social media are you into? Type one, if you are on LinkedIn, two, if you are on Instagram, and three, if you are on TikTok. Wait, if you are on those three platforms, just like me, you can type one, two, three. <laughs> okay, let me check the chat. Delphine, one, two, three. Delali, one, two. Kautar, one. Angel, one, two, three. Tunji, one, two, three, four. Uh, Facebook. Facebook, 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 Tunji, Facebook. I heard Facebook. you earlier. Yes. <laughs> Tunji, one, awesome. two, three, four. Awesome. Well, I'm yeah, me too. Me too. You too? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm also on Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook like that anymore because everything I post on Instagram is automatically posted on Facebook. And I'm not taking advantage of all the features that Facebook has to offer, except for the paid ad campaign. I'm not gonna talk about that today. This is another topic, but yeah. Okay, that's good to know. So most of you are on several platforms. That's great. Then later, I would love, after when we open the mic and, and stuff, I would love for you to tell me how do you manage your time between each platform? Like, is it time consuming? I would love to hear about your experience as well. Um, okay, now we're going to talk about the audience. After the goal, this is the most important things that you have to keep in mind. You don't want to post just to post. You want to post content that will resonate into your audience. But before that, who is your audience? Who is your ideal customer? That's what is really important to ask yourself those three main questions. Who are they? What are their needs? What are their struggles? What are their consumption habits? And how do they consume content? Are they consuming content on their tablet, on their smart, smartphone, on their um, um, computer? How often? Um, you have to know all those type of things. You have to answer all those type of questions in order to adapt your content strategy. It's very, very important. Now, we are going to talk about branding. So I'm not the personal branding expert, but I know that it's really, really important to have a strong branding when it comes to your content strategy. For example, you have it right away. If I'm asking you about my branding, you're going to see the main colors, blue, yellow. This is a part of Holy Digital uh, branding. You are going to see the tone of my voice also when I post. All those type of things must be transparent whenever you establish your content strategy. How do you talk about your brand? How do you express your values? How do you share your expertise? All those type of things you have to keep then in mind. Whether you post a video or if it's a single post where you're going to write, people will sense the tone of your branding. So it's very important to be clear and establish this from the beginning. And, it's, and also it's very important for you to stay consistent in your branding. Doesn't matter if it's on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, it has to be the same, it has to be aligned. Otherwise, 
you know about the con consumer journey. People who are going to buy your product are not just going to see a post and say, oh, I like her. Let me just buy what, what she has to offer. No, they're going to go to your website. They're going to go to your YouTube channel. They're going to go to check if they are signed up for your newsletter. They're going to read through those emails. So if your branding is not consistent in all those platforms, it won't make sense. It will get confusing for the, for the consumers. Uh, ah, I have a little story that I want to share. Sorry. <laughs> I have a little story that I want to share because for me, it's really important also to be honest about that. Um, so I launched my uh, agency less than two years ago. And when I started Holy Digital, I was, you know, the imposter syndrome, even though I've been, I've been work, working in digital marketing for 15 years. It was my first time doing things by myself, okay? It was my first time having my vo own voice. And at first, I wanted to look super professional, super strict, no smiles, very like, you know, very guarded. I didn't even want to show my face, to be honest with you. I didn't want to do all of that. I was scared that people will not um, trust me if I was myself because I do have a bubbly personality. I like to make jokes. I like all of that. And I was scared that if I, if I were going to promote my business and promote my service that way, then I won't have any customer. Big, big, big mistake, big mistake. And I am very thankful to have a good network of other entrepreneurs, small business owners, even that are not in my niche, in my industry, who were able to say, listen, Maureen, this is you. You are like that. You have to show it to the world. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. So now, since it took me a lot of time, but since January 2023, now I post and I'm myself. I post video of me dancing because dancing is my passion. So even when I talk about digital marketing tips, paid advertising strategy, it's always relatable to me what makes me, me. So uh, I think it's really important also to share that with you because you don't have to be afraid of putting yourself out there and being authentic because that's where people will relate to you. Um, Maureen? Yeah. Maureen, excuse me, I'm looking at the time. <gasps> Sorry, I'm I too... see that uh, in very few minutes, we have less than half an hour. And uh, it will be great that um, we hear of um, Angel and as well as um, Tunji. Um, maybe I'm so sorry, but maybe Angel will have less time than uh, initially um, um, supposed. But but and and I would like it will be great that we have some time also to to interact. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to finish in less than five minutes because it's it's almost the end. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so enough with the story. So also don't be boring. So it goes back to what I just said earlier. Think about what type of content your audience would like to see, would be interested in and try different things. Try testing different formats try posting at different times as well. And pay attention to the algorithms because the algorithms in social media change all the time, basically every two, three months. So you want to make sure to stay up to date. And what's very also important, I think is almost the, the last point. So you have to make sure to create uh, your content that is optimized for search engine, especially if you don't have a website. If you don't have the budget to pay for an optimized website, your social media will be your platform, your main platform that will help uh, social, um, sorry, search engine to rank you higher in the top, especially if you use the proper keywords and especially if you also use internal links uh, to redirect your content, for example, to your YouTube channel or to your Google calendar if you want people to, uh, to book meetings with you. So make sure to, to, to take that into consideration. And then after you've done all of that, you want to measure the impact 
of your social media strategy to be able to adapt everything. So go back to those objectives that you set at the beginning, number of followers, engagement rates, all of that, and measure to be able to adjust and improve this uh, content strategy. The bonuses, and I'm done, Delali. The last three things that I want to say, be present in social media. Engage with your followers, with your potential customers. Engage is, is not just commenting on posts or liking a post, it's also sending DMs and sharing valuable information to your audience. Be consistent. Find a schedule that works for you. Nobody asks you to post every day. That's not the point. If you decide to post three times a week, that's fine, but stick to it. And at the end, be authentic. As I said earlier, don't try to copy other people, just be you. And that's it. And if you want to add me on social media, those are my contact information. You can scan uh, the QR code and I'm done. Now I'm going to introduce you to Angel Kaba coming from New York City. <laughs> Angel, we are so happy to welcome you. So thank you very much, Maureen. Um, Angel, you, dear Angel, please tell me, were you supposed to talk about the same topic? Uh, it goes in alignment, but it um, goes in alignment. Okay, yes. this is what this is what I I really suggest, please, because um, unfortunately, Marine is really generous in uh, <clears throat> half an hour pass by. So please, um, what can we do? What can we do? Um. Please, is it possible that you take like five minutes to add up to what Maurice shared up? Uh, I mean, regarding your own perspective. And then I will have please to um to give the stage to Tunji, please. I mean, I can pass my turn. That's fine. I don't have to. No, but we 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 need to uh we need to know of you as well because um we yeah, appreciate you coming. I mean, all the way from New York. And uh, we know we need we need to know you. Yeah. And uh, we need to give you a voice. Appreciate you. Five Thank minutes you. is very short, so I'll rather like just let Tunji do what he needs to do, and then we can just talk after if we do like a little time for like Q and A and stuff like that, and I can just pour into that and add on. I wouldn't do my presentations; just let you know go with okay. the. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. 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 Yeah, Tunji. I know Tunji is a gentleman. So, um, what time is it? Okay. Um, dear Tunji, please. Um, first of all, I apologize for the circumstances, but I'm grateful for your hearts in each of each each one of us hearts here. Um, I give you the stage, please. If you can be done in about fifteen minutes, it would be great. So we can have the time to uh, interact a little bit and have Angel talk as well a little bit. Thank you. All right, that's fine. Thank you very much for having me here. Um, Angel, sorry about that. Um, I wish there was more time so I could hear you speak. Um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna just talk about um, book publishing. How many of you have actually written a book or thinking of writing a book? Anyone else? Who ever think of writing a book? Writing a book. Who did it and who ever think of do it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're all you know, like business owners or career professionals, and um, a book is one of the best ways to actually get you out there as the go-to person in your industry so if you've been thinking about actually doing it then now definitely is the time to actually get it done so i've only got 15 minutes um so i'll probably i'll go into my slide but i won't be able to go into everything that i was going um to talk about today so let me just quickly share my screen and I'll have to really dive in. So I'm gonna just um, leave out some slides, okay? All right, so I'm gonna talk about your market, your message and your mission, the three keys you need to publish in 
your best selling book. So I'm an author of six books myself. I'm a book coach. I'm a speaker and a pastor. And the reason why I do what I do is because of my amazing family. So these are the books that I've written. Um, myself, I did my first book, The Realm Living, in 2011. And then I've been able to do other books since then. And before that, I was someone that was depressed because I was a full-time carer for my mom, not knowing what to do. Then I launched my book and started, well, I was really speaking because of ministry, but then now started speaking even more. And now through launching and publishing my book, um, despite me thinking I can't do it because of dyslexia, but I've been able to do it and help other people do the same using dyslexia as an advantage. And it's just been amazing to see what books have done for me. It's opened up doors to speak on so many platforms around the world via um, Zoom and also in person as well. So if you're thinking about, you know, expanding your reach, thinking about building your brand, then a book is one of the best ways um, to get you out there. Most of you um, know Muriel, who's been speaking on air. When Muriel came to me, she was not confident enough to speak. And I got her doing some certain things and doing lives and all these things. And through that, she's now doing some amazing, amazing things, which is just great to see. So this is what books have done for me. Just open up doors to speak on so, so many platforms, which is just amazing. Podcasts, summits, conferences, and all these things, which is great. So I've been able to do interviews, speaking on stage, build my business, got clients, and it's given me credibility. So, so many people want to write a book, but they've not done it because they feel they are fair. They have nothing to say. It's been done before and all these things, but that's just an excuse. If you actually want to do something, you can do it. So many people don't do it because they feel the book needs to be this big. And it definitely does. And your book needs to be just a hundred pages, a hundred pages. And that is it. So I want you to say this out loud. Um, you don't have to come off mute, but just say this because your words are powerful. I am an author. If I see it in my mind, I can hold it in my hands and I can make my book a reality. Uh, let me see your mouth move. I am an author. If I see it in my mind, I can hold it in my hands and I can make my book a reality. The reason why is because what you say, you actually can do. So you need to watch whatever you say to yourself. Why? Because the, the dreams or the lives you dream of impact and the influence you dream of having and the income you dream of making can and will be achieved by the book that you write. A book goes to places that you won't go to. A book can get into someone's house that you may never visit. You know, it goes into countries that you may never ever visit. So your book is a, a legacy. Your information, your packaging in a book can change someone else's life and destiny. So don't hold back on the very thing that you know that you want to share. You know, you need to have the mindset of an aspiring author, someone that is able to see it, believe it, speak it, and take action on it. Don't just say you want to write a book. Don't just say you want to start a business. You want to become an entrepreneur. You want to do this. You want to do that. And you don't take action. The main thing when it comes to being in business and, you know, being an author, an entrepreneur, even a career professional is action. You've got to take action on whatever it is that you say and whatever it is that you believe. If you believe it, if you see it, you speak it, you've got to take action on it. So you need to tell yourself that I'm ready to become an entrepreneur, an authorpreneur. So an, an authorpreneur is someone that uses a book to build their business and expand their business with the book. If you want to start speaking, a book is one of the best ways. You want to share your message, a book is one of the best ways. You want to impact lives, you want to make more income, a book is one of the best ways for you to do that because writing and publishing a book is an important goal for most coaches and entrepreneurs. And the reason why is because a book establishes you as an authority in your field. It gives you visibility. It gives you media coverage. It helps you to talk and sell more about your business and your company. 
So that's one of the best ways to actually get out there. Yes, we can use social media and all these things which can attract people to what we do, but you can use a book to funnel all of that. Okay, so people can come into your business through your book. So most of you probably have seen on social media, oh, get this book for free. Get this book for free. So yes, the book is not free. <laughs> they printed it, but they're using a funnel to get you into their business. You pay for shipping and handling. And from there, you're able to sell them other things. So you just need to think that way. So you've got a message, you've got a market, and you have a mission. Who is your market? Who are the people that you are called to. If you want authority and credibility for your business, then you need to know exactly what your book is going to do because your book is a business tool. Your book in itself is a business. So you need to understand that when it comes to writing and publishing a book. So your market, your message, and your mission are three important things that you need to, now I'm not going to be able to get into all of that because I've got a lot of slides and because of time, but just to give you an overview of things, you need to know who you're called to. Who are the people you're trying to speak to when it comes to your book or your business? You need to make sure that you are speaking directly to your clients. So if you're offering them a service, they are the right people that can buy it. Then you need to know your message to that individual. So um, like Maureen said, you've got to be consistent. If you're on social media, you can't talk about, I, I think I said it earlier too, you can't talk about property today, then tomorrow you're talking about, um, you know, customer service, then another day you're talking about something else. Let me know your message. What is your message that you're trying to tell me whenever I see you? Is your brand consistent? So when I see your name, pop up on social media, when I see it in a book, I know exactly. When I see John Maxwell, I know what John Maxwell speaks about because he has been consistent with his message. So you don't need to go, you know, daddy daddy and thinking that you're, you know, someone that can do everything. Yes, we probably can, but be direct. Let us know exactly what your message is. Then what's your mission? Why exactly do you want to write this book? Why exactly do you want to build this business? Is it just for money? If that's the reason, then it's not strong enough. Is it to make impact? Is it to have more influence? Is it to inspire people? Is it to take someone from point A to point B? There needs to be a strong why that takes you out of your comfort zone so that you can make a big lasting impact so that you can have legacy. That is the main thing that we need to really, really think about, okay? So that is it. Thank you very much. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, thank Tunji. You. Yes, I know you didn't have much time, and sorry for that, and thank you for being able to adjust so quickly, but That's you got great. me. I know I'll come back to you. You got me. I know I'll come back to you. And um, yes, and please, you you also have my my WhatsApp number, so please let's keep in touch. I know I'll come back to you. Yes. Uh, I know I'll be your customer. Please, Delali, okay. you are right. Tunji voice and Maurice smile are very special. I mean, you as uh, you you said it all. Thank you. They got Delali. us. <laughs> I, I have to learn to dance like Maureen on my on my post. Well, well I'll minutes if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, uh, and I want to ask uh, the, the English speaking uh, group to give us a, 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 a nice synthetic synth, uh, account of what you have discussed. Three things that you have learned today and I want Delali to, to nominate somebody who will tell us the three things that you have learned in this session. Go oh, ahead. thank you. Kalta, please, can you help us in this? Thank you. Sure, with pleasure. I really enjoyed this session. I love your energy, first of all. 
Um, so uh, Maureen started with a presentation on content, ma on content marketing strategy. It was very professional and useful. And, Give us the um, three things you learned, the three concrete things you learned. All right. So uh, the concrete one is um, to be uh, patient and also um, being resilient. And <laughs> the second one <laughs> is writing a book. Writing a book. Yeah. Tunji, Tunji, <laughs> write a book. So uh, this is really concrete. I think uh, this is the best way uh, to offer uh, our our mindsets, um, our uniqueness to the world. And the third one and the third one is and the third one uh, and the third one is um, doing more session in English. Yeah, more uh -huh. session in uh -huh. English for the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you will, we will progress in English if we do it so. Okay, thank you. Thank so you. Much. Now. Now, thank you very much for your participation. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I hope that Abel Maxwell will join us. I don't know, Delali, but anyway, you will have a very nice uh, uh, keynote in French, Raconte et Gagne by Brice, in a few minutes. But before, I want to debrief with the French team. 